Hello everybody and welcome to part four and for now the last one of my Nations League jersey review. Uh, not the last one because I'm gonna stop doing this but the last one for now because I want to keep leagues C and leagues D for uh, the October break because there are quite some jerseys that I cannot find yet and I almost couldn't find some jerseys even here in leagues uh, groups B three and before so um, it's very interesting some jerseys just get released now before we get to it which jersey am i wearing it is the 2006 7 italy home jersey it's actually a 2006 one because as you can see it has only three stars that's the one that uh, was worn at the world cup when they won the world cup um this one i did not get ahead of the world cup and i'll tell you more about this one uh there's a little story behind it once we look at this one but now let's get to the jerseys of groups b3 and b4 and we'll start off with my home country austria which takes a puma template that copies the portugal home jersey from 2016. that was an immediate thought uh, the bright red and then the dark red sleeves just like portugal uh, here even the um, Color the puma color that bothered me with Italy Uruguay Switzerland you name it since it's red doesn't bother me that much It looks actually all right here uh, Probably the best version that this color was made uh, Again the upper top is a little bit too light. This is the puma thing and I really don't like that the eagle is not within the Austrian flag shield um, if you saw my part 3 video there you can see a little bit of that and I'll show you more. That's the one downside of this one. However, I do like this mountainscape that they have down there, although they could have made it a little bit more realistic. On the back, we of course get the wonderful um, Puma font. Again, the mountains are also on the back here, which I found find a very interesting -ish, um, feature. And then there's a little Austrian flag, basically all across the back side of the collar. This is unique to Austria and I like it a lot. Um, Puma, I think, Puma and Austria are some of the longest standing partners. Um, I think Germany and Adidas would beat them if Adidas wouldn't have given them Arima shirts for the 1978 World Cup. But as, uh, Austria has since the mid 70s been with Puma. I don't think there are many other combinations that have been together for that long. So yeah, that's why we always get usually something a tad different if it's possible. Now the home jersey is the plainest one in ages. Uh, it is just white and I actually I don't mind it. Usually we have some little bit black. I mean you see the one from 16 here. I like that one too. It has a little bit of black. This is just white with uh, the eagle and the black puma cats and on the back you just, uh, just see the Austrian flag. Almost boring except that this is how it used to be and that's why I like it. Uh, it's not perfect, I really would like to see a little bit more accents in there but overall it is pretty darn good. Put the eagle, take this uh, shield that's on the eagle double it and put the eagle into the shield. Not only that the shield is on the eagle, but the eagle is also on the shield. So that would be my, that's the only major gripe I have with this one. Other than that, I think despite its simplicity, I really like this one. Now uh, the group opponent, and here I only have the home jersey. I imagine that the away jersey will be just a white version of this one. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, an Adidas creation. It's a very dark, almost steely blue with a steely blue sash running across uh, the jersey. And then golden accents. It plays off the Bosnian colors. Um, I just wish it was maybe a bit more yellow and the blue, at least one of the blues, be a bit more of a royal blue. Other than that, I think I like the design quite some. Uh, simple yet effective. And given that Bosnia and Herzegovina are not the glamour team, they got actually quite a nice shirt from Adidas, given that Adidas wants to get rid of all these smaller nations. So that I like about this one. I think it could be a little bit more 
more exciting if the colors were not uh, so dull. If the colors were a little bit more vibrant, I think this could look better. And as I said, I don't have the away jersey. If I see it, I will uh, add it to another video. I would imagine it's white with the same blue uh, sash going. Um, we see here also names and numbers, which are actually nicely applied. Of course, the font ruins it all. Note the hot check on the Z here for Jacko. And the last team in this group is Northern Ireland. Also, these shirts are not easy to find, but this Northern Ireland shirt is a really nice one. This is basically a copy of the 1982 shirt, the one where Northern Ireland performed really well at the World Cup, where they actually played against Austria and it was a 2 2 draw. I said it before Northern Ireland is an opponent and Austria just does not like. Uh, we usually have more uh, talent on our squads, not always, but we usually have, but the fighting spirit of Northern Ireland is something that we just cannot deal with. I hope maybe this year we can. And this shirt is super nice. I like the shirt color. Note this is the only Adidas jersey so far that has this shirt color, and it's very, very 1982. I like the pinstripes. If you've read my post on the France 1982 shirt, this is a similar layout, and the Northern Irish shirt was also in that. The three stripes on the side, this is pretty darn near perfect. Northern Irish shirt always have a shirt like that. The away shirt, however, and here I only could find the kids' version, because if you get the adult version, there's usually a person in there which I don't like but you can see it. it's the Condivo template in light blue with a little steely dark blue over not so sold on that one I think if this was white with green um, striping it would look better I this color comes a little bit out of nowhere staying on the British Isles we go to the last group which is very much a northern European group uh, Wales, Ireland and Denmark. Wales also has a really nice shirt, similar to another Ireland shirt, it doesn't have the nice color but it has this button open and it's a little bit more modern. Um, I like the dragon and I wish there was a little bit more green on this one, I said it already in the video. Uh, either the stripes on the side are a little bit more green, maybe uh, if the collar had just a green outline. The green only on the crest is a little bit too little to me. I think this could make this shirt a lot nicer, but overall I really like the dragon on it. But it's definitely not my favorite Wales jersey. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, there is green. This is, if Northern Ireland takes this jersey, I would be happy. I think this also looks good for Wales. Maybe it could use a dash of red, but make the Adidas logo in red. Then we had Northern Ireland, now we get Ireland, and this was released either to they, or no, it's not even for sale yet, but uh, it was announced. This is the current New Balance Ireland shirt. And yeah, it has the annoying New Balance feature with the orange stripe here. It doesn't look as bad. It has a slightly darker green sleeves. Then it has a very interesting shadow pattern all over. And yeah, it's a geometric pattern that's very reminiscent of the um, 2016 Spain home jersey. Oh, my nose is biting me now. Um, but yeah, for Spain, I could explain it. I'm not sure why Ireland had it. I wish it was something more Irish, like a clover or whatever. But if you're from Ireland and you know what this is about, let me know. The one thing I have to say, and I say it every time I see an Ireland jersey. Why? And that's the one reason why I don't have an Ireland jersey yet. Why do you always have to have the sponsor 3M on there? You cannot get an Ireland jersey without a sponsor. It bugs, the, bugs me. Really, really bugs me more than my nose bite right now. At least with this sponsor, it's a number, so I almost can't look past it. What I don't like about this jersey is I think the white collar is a little bit. Mm, make it green or orange, I think would, would be better. Yes, it connects with the New Balance logo, but I think there's something off. Also, the Federation crest I find very interesting, especially as we will see uh, Israel ripped it right off. The away jersey, however, I like a lot except for the shoulders here. This is the same <laughs> template, although a different manufacturer as the Wales home jersey. It just has this green sleeves and it looked great in the game yesterday uh, against Wales where they lost badly. But uh, I really like the look of this jersey. I think I like this one a lot better. Again, get rid of these three spawns. I won't have my islands. 
I would like to have an Isla shirt without a sponsor. Only match one, I guess. And then you have to go deep into the pockets. Yeah, here we see also the back. It actually looks really nice. Uh, rem recall that the Costa Rica had, had, had a similar one. And here it actually looks nice because it makes sense. I would like that the sleeves were all in green, but this is really nice in the area on the back collar. Gotta like that one. Now, finally, the last one is, of course, Denmark, who finally got their act together. They will field a team, I think against Ireland even. And yeah, we saw this already the World Cup, a uh, classic Denmark jersey, but I think I will be more expecting more. It has this X pattern across, a little bit darker sleeves. Then the chevrons are um, kind of two tone because they are solid on the back and they're not so solid on the front. Uh, the red, yeah, I looks all right. I never got the blue outline around it, but other than that classic Denmark jersey, they even had a nice font going with it. Um, and the away jersey is the same thing in white, just uh, switching red and white, except for the crest. Not as nice as the previous ones when they went back to home all. Those jerseys were a hit, both the away and the home jersey. The one had the big white king on there, the other one had uh, the kind of this Danish flag strikeout. Both really great features. I featured them on my blog together with these jerseys. Uh, those are probably my favorite Denmark jerseys ever, I would say. Well, those are the uh, those are all the jerseys. You know, the ones that we saw at the World Cup, you can already read on my blog, and I will try my best. It's not that easy to find the time to write, because writing takes some time, but I love doing it, so that's why I don't write here. I will put, of course, a refer to this video too, but yeah. I'll try to write about these jerseys. Let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, which ones you like, which ones you disliked, uh, whether you agree with my assessments or you think I'm completely out of it. Hey, it's all right. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.